To add push notifications to your app, click on Apps in the left side menu of Reactor and go ahead and click on the title of one of your apps and then go to the push notifications tab. So before you do any of this, you're going to need to create a certificate and a provisioning profile and upload those to PhoneGap Build. So please see the previous videos and if you're using push notifications, you want to just want to make sure that you add an app ID and that it matches this app ID that you have here under the Build Test tab. So whatever app ID this is, um, just follow the instructions to create your provisioning profile using this app ID. That is important as required for push notifications. So after you've done that, come back to this video and the first thing that you're going to do is check the box to enable push notifications and you can actually click on update and that's not actually going to add push notifications to your app that's just sort of the first step to enable them that actually um, sort of sets up your app and gets everything ready so to actually add the push notifications and get them working you're going to need to upload a p12 file and the way that you're going to do that is um, first you should have created all your other certificates for PhoneGap Build and we're actually going to go back into your Apple Developer account and edit those to get our P12 file here. So I'm going to switch over to my Apple Developer account. So this is under developer.apple.com forward slash account. So you'll see that under app IDs I have my uh, this this I have my app that has my ID here that I created in the other video and it matches the app ID in, uh, in the build test tab of Reactor. And you'll see that we have push notifications but it says configurable. It, uh, they aren't quite ready yet. So what we're going to do is actually click on edit here. And then we're going to go down to push notifications. So what we need to do is create a production SSL certificate and that is what you actually need to upload to Reactor. So I'm going to click on create certificate. You're going to need to create a signing request. So to do that you're going to open up keychain access and go to in the keychain access menu up at the top left go to the certificate assistant and request a certificate from a certificate authority and you're going to enter your email address and then you're going to choose save to disk and you're going to go ahead and continue that's going to save the CSR file to your disk and then you're actually going to be able to um, upload it here click you click on continue and choose file and you're going to be able to upload it here so I'm going to go ahead and upload my CSR file and click generate and now you'll see that we have a certificate to download so go ahead and download this now you want to keep this separate so from your other certificates because it gets confusing if you just download them all to the same folder so I would put it in a new folder I would call this SSL push cert so once that's downloaded let me just call this SSL cert. I'm going to actually go in there and double click on it. Now if you have a bunch of certificates like I do, you have to kind of sort through it and figure out where exactly it went. But one of the ways that you can see where it went is by the expiration date. You can see based on the date today when this certificate is going to expire. You can also usually see a um, the actual ID of your app. So let's see. So it's actually down here off the screen. Let me bring that up here. So it's right here. So what I'm going to do is just click on that and I'm going to go to, oh, let me bring this into the view a little bit. So I'm going to right click on it and just click export and then I'm going to put that in the same one. This is going to be actor. 
I'm actually calling this reactor test dev. Um, that way you know what app ID it's associated with because it is specific to that app ID and the only way to know it is if you name it that way. Go ahead and give it a password. And now we have a P12 file. So this is the P12 file that we're going to upload to reactor. So I'm going to go back to reactor, click add or upload file. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this here and click on use this file and then I'm also going to put my password here and then I'm going to click update so that is actually going to configure the application to use push notifications and you'll see um, it before it said application not configured and now it says iOS subscriber zero, it says iOS app created. This particular interface may change, but um, you'll see basically um, some sort of success message or it changed. If it still says application not configured, um, then you probably did something wrong with the P12 file. Um, please consult our documentation or rewatch this video because certificates are very tricky and if you do one little thing wrong it can screw all of your certificates up. So um, the easiest thing is probably just to start from scratch if you're having troubles. Um, and you can also you know shoot us an email at support. But um, I hope that helps. And um, so once you have push notifications configured and enabled, now you can actually um, build your app and check it to, to, to build and compile it. Now one thing you want to make sure that you use the signing key that we created um, in the previous videos because all of these things are connected. So the signing key here we created for this specific app and the push notification certificate we created here is for this specific app and you want to make sure that all of these things are sort of working in concert because if one thing is off then none of it works. So the, if, if you're having trouble the first thing to check is make sure that you've do, done all of your certificates properly and that they are um, they are in PhoneGap build, that you have the right the passwords and then um, you build the app with uh, all of the right certificates and everything there. So I'm going to go ahead and build this and then I'll get a QR code back that I'll be able to actually scan it to my device and test. And you can go over on the left hand side to app notifications and choose the app that you want to use and then actually um, send a notification to that app. So I hope that helps and I will see you in the next video.